take weeds! That's better. Hey. Fucking right. Okay. Make me want to cry. I didn't know. Donna brought over a thupper. It's an embarrassing sight to see. It's not fucking funny. You fucked up. Big time. So Donna decided today she's gonna make jumbo hot dogs. Hopefully that's the middle, but I don't know. <coughs> okay, it looks like it might be the middle. Hopefully it is. Okay, so fucking Donna. I'd, sh I'd show you guys. I'd take the camera over here and show you, but you don't want to see this up close. Donna decided to have jumbo dogs today. Okay? Which is fine. But then she just makes them, right? She, she, she tells me... Two minutes ago, before I started the video, yeah, before I started the video. Well, she didn't tell me nothing. I heard, oh fuck. I was like, what'd you do, Donna? So I asked her, what'd you do? And she said, I forgot to buy mustard. So I got a jumbo dog here with ketchup and relish. <coughs> I didn't know we were out, otherwise I would have grabbed it. Well, who says, oh, I'm going to make jumbo dogs for supper and doesn't look to see what the fuck you got to put on it? Me. Mm. Like, how do you fuck up hot dogs? It's okay. Ketchup beef. Right? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Mm -hmm. Moving on from the kindergarten dogs. Yeah. That's what kids in kindergarten eat. I didn't know we were out, I swear. I didn't know we were out, otherwise I would have grabbed it. Today's Wednesday. Hump day. Day dedicated to banging. Well, we dedicate the day to banging. <laughs> uh, we spent most of the day banging, that's all we did, really. Well, Donna, Donna went to a few places, but mostly she took a dick and <laughs> she spent the day taking a dick and she takes a dick and like no other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Do well, Donna was oot today. She said she heard some shit about cut hours. Yeah, like, um. Oh, yeah, before you start, me and Donna are still on the Bud Lights. Uh, what water is all about? Yeah, it's pretty watery. <laughs> it's watery stuff. Makes you piss a lot. So where I was, there was there was people like employees, these ladies, uh, wondering about like how come they're like my understanding they've been cut a lot. Like one lady only had three shifts next week, right? Like how the fuck? She, so how is somebody gonna pay their bills? Just you know, you can't really. I mean, you could, but like they did, but you're. 
I don't know, they they were kind of worried about it, right? And they were older ladies, too, so. Yeah, so they They're, need the money to pay for the medication. <laughs> well, usually it's, like, quiet in January, right? Because everybody's broke as fuck, but they must be really thinking that it's going to be, like, really fucking slow or something to cut hours, right? Kind of bread use in here, too, don't they? Like, how do... I gotta hold that together two hands. Let's squish it together. Like make a... Like a... <laughs> you really fucked up hot dogs today. You know how the Parmesan cheese Just meat looks like? Parmesan cheese meat? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? You know how the Parmesan is around the meat? Yeah. Just do that with the bread. It, I don't want to. Oh. I just want to pick it up and eat it regular. I don't want to be squishing shit together. Oh, well, that's what I did. And it worked that's because you're a handicap. No, I'm not a handicap. <laughs> Donna squeezes her food a lot. <laughs> no, I didn't want it to fall all over the place. All this fucking extra bread, Donna. My fuck. Like, what bread did you buy? <laughs> extra thick something? No. The cheapest fuck. Mmm. <laughs> Keep this fuck bread. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a good. I can dinner. tell. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing like a good. <laughs> nothing like a good wiener. Yeah. <laughs> Donna says there's nothing like a good wiener. <laughs> yeah, it's a good wiener. <laughs> you fucking pig. No. <laughs> okay. Uh. Not like that. Donna wanted to tell me. Donna wanted to tell me. Fuck! Hey, um, Donna wanted me to tell you cocksuckers a story about her dad's driveway. Yeah, because I didn't know about this until today. Okay, so me and Donna were talking about uh, something or other, something we're going to be doing in the future, and Donna asked me about how. You go about making a driveway. And I said to her the same way we made your fucking dads. And she said, what did you say to me? I said, oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, because, well, they had a driveway when I met her, but it was kind of shit. And so anyway, here's how the story goes. Here's what she wants me to tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know why you found it so funny, because I didn't find it funny at all. I stayed over at Donna's fucking house in Killarney, Ontario, and her dad came across some work site, some job site along the highway where, well, nobody was going back to because people only go to Killarney, like, like say somebody's working on something, like, uh, like putting up a building in Killarney or something, like along that highway. I've noticed that they only go there once a month to do work, and the rest of the month, shit to... All kinds of fucking, <coughs> uh, not equipment, but things that they're going to need, you know, just sits there. Like, you know, <coughs> lumber and gravel and different things like that, right? So anyway, her dad came across some fucking, some fucking job site on the highway and they had a bunch of fucking stones piled up. They were pink and gray stones. Maybe they're pink and white, I don't remember. So... I spent the day with her dad fucking filling up one of those five-gallon fucking buckets. <coughs> uh huh? I think so. So me and her dad filled up <laughs> these five-gallon buckets, loaded them into his fucking truck, drove them to his fucking house, dumped them all over his driveway, raked them in. You know, we did that like for a whole fucking weekend. Actually, it was a couple weekends, but this one weekend that I'm talking about. Uh, so we did this on a fucking... Well, how, do, how does it go now? I helped him on a Friday night after we got there from... Because we went to, took the bus from school. Yeah. So her dad took me, and we got, a, we got a load of the gravel. And then we came back, and the idea was to do more work on Saturday, the next day. I think at this point we already had over half the drive we done from the from the previous weekends. Okay, this is back in the nineties. I think I was like sixteen or seventeen. I think I was seventeen. 
Um, so I get up on Saturday and like, you know, my hair's all over the place and whatever, but I'm all dressed, ready to go. I mean, I don't give a fuck what I look like, you know what I mean? We're going into the woods. Like, we're in Killarney, Ontario, for fuck's sakes. There's no chicks around. There's nobody to see. Nobody's going to be looking. <laughs> and her dad made such a big deal about my fucking hair being messy. He wanted me, he wanted me to wear some stupid baseball cap, but I didn't fucking want to wear it. Because, like, why? Like, we're, we're just moving rocks, for fuck's sakes. Does it matter what I look like? Anyway, we argued at his house for a little while about it, and I don't remember what happened after that. I don't remember if I helped him get more rocks or not, or stones. Her dad got mad. Then her mom got in on it, and she was mad too, because my hair was so messy that the fucking trees were going to fucking, you know, look down at us and fucking, I don't know. Do we... So who are gonna impress the fucking wildlife? <laughs> There's it? nobody the fuck around. Nobody. It wouldn't matter if I went naked. Nobody would fucking see me. That old cocksucker made such a stink about my hair. Like, don't worry about my hair. Worry about yours. You old prick. <laughs> was there? Was there? Could you tell there was lots of rock though missing? Yeah, we took a couple piles of it. Your dad's a thief, dog. Huh? <laughs> well, I thought maybe there's a lot there and you wouldn't notice. Not that it was right to do, but I guess... It... Well, I think it was noticeable. I just don't know if they went driving in the Clarny and looked at your dad's driveway. It's the first fucking house when you get into town. Well, where's all our missing stones? Huh. This guy's driveway. He's got the same fucking stone as us. Wonder where our stone went. <coughs> well, that's pretty dumb when you say it like. <coughs> okay. Anyway, that was a stupid story. Donna wanted me to tell you guys because she thought it was funny, but I don't think it was funny at all. Beer store double dipper. Okay, so I went to the beer store today to bring back empties. And uh, when I got there, there was a guy putting beer in his truck and he left. And then when I, and I was the only one in the store, okay. And then I come out of the beer store and there's a lady, as I'm getting, uh, as I got into the car, she was taking fucking uh, empties out of her truck. So I said where I was, like I was parked in like the middle lane, right? So like I looked over and I see this little white car coming, okay? And it's and I was thinking like fuck, come on, like hurry up because like the guy was going slow. So I was like really looking at this car, okay? You are wrong. <laughs> Why? What happened? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> what? You are fucking What is wrong? I didn't hear anything at all. I did. What'd you hear? <laughs> the air coming out quietly. I think that's your fucking... Uh, no, it was... I think that's your air fryer. You just finished making the hot dogs. No, that's not what it is. That... <laughs> I heard that too back then. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Some kind of air leak back over there. See? It just shut off. <laughs> See, it was the air fryer. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Holy fuck, Eddie. <laughs> okay, come on with your story. Okay, so I look over, I'm like looking down, I'm like looking at this car, like who the fuck is driving this car so slow? Now, as the guy's driving going slow, both his fingers are up his fucking nose. He's Double driving. dipping. <laughs> they go, and I watch him, okay? Because I was thinking, where are you going to park? But he was going to the fucking handicap area, right? Uh, it went from this to this, okay? 
like in the fucking mouth. I wanted to get out of the car and fucking throw up. It looked like the relish. Uh. <laughs> I just get that wasn't there. I don't know what it looked like. I didn't <laughs> fucking. I wasn't sitting in the car <laughs> next to him. It Fuck. looked just like the relish. <laughs> That is disgusting. That is so fucking sick. <laughs> I couldn't fucking imagine. You fucking pig. Why are you saying Why shit? am I the pig? I didn't do it. Are you saying the fucking look like the relish, you know? <laughs> the thing in the back feels like it's moving. You know, that fucking, like, you know, when you... Before you told the story, we should have put relish in my mustache and under your nose and told the story about... <laughs> Sad you're like we didn't know it was there. <laughs> Why are people eating their snots? I don't know. Like, first, like, first of all, Inflation. you're... Inflation. <laughs> 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 Inflation causes all kinds of weird shit. People are eating their own snot now. I don't even know what snot is, but I know you're not supposed to eat it. It's in your nose for a reason. It's like, maybe it's all the dirt it catches in the air or whatever, right? Okay, why don't you just uh, fuck off with the snot talk now? <laughs> Change the subject. What else you got? No, I don't know what it is. We'll talk about it another time. We'll go you can Google it later. No, I don't want to. I don't like What else this. you got, Donna? Did you finish the story? Yeah. Yeah. About the guy. You know, and he gets out of his car, right? So now he's touching everything. He's touching his... He's going into the beer store? Yeah. Handing his money to the fucking guy touching over the counter? Touching the fucking door. Getting relish on everything? Hopefully he used fucking cash and not debit, you know. <laughs> Sorry about last night's video. It came out a little bit late because our grandchildren came to visit yesterday so we didn't have a choice but to do a late video. We were so fucking tired last night. We were tired. When we went to bed, we went to bed. <laughs> yeah. When I woke up this morning, I went back to bed. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I had to get up because, you know, way she goes. <laughs> um, that for me? I was gonna fucking say something and I forget. Apparently, Sudbury and uh, Sault Ste. Marie are gonna be getting a big snowstorm. Uh, you have, it's or, or maybe it's happening now. I, I don't know. Something enough for the Canada Post to say they're not delivering. <coughs> Maybe it's like windy, windy yeah, snow. But hopefully they're still driving up this way because I'm expecting some mail tomorrow. Important mail. Yeah, it's not. We're not getting any of that fucking weather, so I don't see why they can't just you know. Well, the guys should be able to still drive up here. That's not a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't. Th I wouldn't think so either. But it, do they say like, oh, we're not delivering because we're we're based at Sudbury and we're not driving? You know, how how long do you think it takes to get from? Uh, I don't even know where the post office is there, but let's say downtown Sudbury to the actual one forty four turn off. I don't know. I don't remember where the post office is in Sudbury. The main post office. If you're from Sudbury, Ontario, leave a comment. What street is the main post office on? I don't remember. I haven't been, like, I've been to Sudbury over the last few years, but I haven't been in Sudbury, like, as in, like, living there for quite a few years. You have one, well, you have a hair that's sticking up, like, in your stuff. It's one of those gray ones, you know. One Am I good? You're gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to be. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, all my, all my, all my hairs are 
acting up these days. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I. They're all getting old. I don't think I've ever been to the post office in Sudbury. I don't know. I don't know if I ever was either. I don't remember. Anyways. Yeah, we realized how old we were getting today. Yeah. <laughs> in eight years from now, the 80s will have been gone for 50 years. Is that what it said? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. In, in eight years. Eight years what? I don't remember now. We're just old. See, that's how old and we that's were. How long we can't even fucking was? remember what we were fucking reading. Was it, what, was it that? In eight, in eight years from now, it'll be 50 years since, since the 80s? Since I don't know like if it's today. since the 80s or since 1980. I want to say 1980, because that would be right. Because yeah. in 50 years, it'll be uh, 2030, and you take away 50 years from that. <laughs> you take 50 years right. from that, and Donna's young again. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's fucking old. Like You a, are. I'm not, but yes, like, you fucking are. You're old. Not really. Not I'm. I'm uh, middle aged. You're passing middle age. No, I'm not. I'm still no. I'm. Yeah, but what's middle age though? What if you only lived to be like? They go out of What if you lived to be sixty? You're past your middle age. No. Yeah. Middle age starts at whatever, and it goes to another time, later on in your life. <laughs> and then it changes. Yes. So you're you're middle aged. Okay. So senior is anybody sixty five years and older because you're a senior citizen at sixty five. So middle age we're gonna say is the age of forty to just until up until you turn sixty five. Middle age until you're sixty five. Yeah. Because then you're a senior. I don't think it works like that, Donna. Yeah, you're in your fifties. You and your you're... parents can't all like both be middle aged together. <laughs> no, they're in their senior years now. They're just leaping out of their sixties. They're your mother's sixty seven. She's a senior citizen, and my dad is seventy, and he's a senior citizen. I know, but I'm... two years ago, you're saying that she was middle aged because yes. you set up to sixty five. Yeah, you're middle aged. And you would have been two years ago. You would have still been middle aged. Yeah. So you guys would have been middle aged at the same time. Yeah, that that a, doesn't make any fucking sense. It's a big group of people. She makes shit up just to make herself feel better. You're so <laughs> full of shit. You're middle aged. Yeah, she she wants to put that in her head so until she's sixty five she feels middle, middle aged. Okay, if you look <laughs> You're fucking old. Forty five would be middle aged because maybe the average person lives till they're ninety. If you're lucky anything. The average gonna... person lives to ninety now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. I know people live till they're 90, but I don't think the average person... <laughs> the average person lives till about, you know, 74, 75. <laughs> people that make it to their 80s and 90s, they're, they're like, lucky. I don't like... Uh, but the, average, like the like, average... Per, you, like the average age group. Yeah, there's people that pass before that, but maybe the majority of people... Uh, are dying in their 90s. So that's why they say 45, you're in, like, you're middle-aged. So, and if you think of it as, like, a food, right? Like, you're middle-aged. <laughs> like, it's been hanging, like, the cheese has been hanging forever in the closet. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, like, So we're, like... Old cheese in a cloth now? <laughs> yeah. You, know. you smell like old cheese in a That's cloth. That's why old people have that ripe smell about them. <laughs> See, old cheese smell. The old cheese in a cloth smell. Yeah, you know, like that strong smelling cheese, the one that makes you want to throw up. That's why they always wear so much perfume and cologne. <laughs> you don't know about that. No, they wash and stuff like that. I'm not saying they're dirty. I'm just saying there's... 
you know, your body's like old at like that age. Like your skin and shit's got to start not holding on to like the scent of <laughs> the body wash. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's happening to you right now? No, I'm good. I'm 44. Like that's that's not until. So like your your skin's still holding on to the scent of body wash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's not until in your senior years. I do not know where Donna gets her info. <laughs> Stuff that I think. <laughs> oh, it's just stuff she thinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so don't worry. You may not smell like old cheese in a cloth one day. It might just be something Donna's thinking. But I don't think so. I think I'm pretty right on that. If you ever get to an old person like around them that haven't put on their cologne or. Uh, like you ever notice they they heavily put it on it's not just like a squirt i like. lived with my grandparents growing up but they didn't wear heavy cologne perfumes yeah, and they, but and, and they didn't they? smell like fucking cheese and fucking bags in a closet or whatever you said <laughs> hey let's go in the cheese you know how cheese hangs yeah i don't remember who the fuck what old people do you know <laughs> I'm talking about the old fuckers. Your grandparents were old. Back My grandmother then. died at 89. She was pretty old. Uh, yeah, at 89. She didn't smell like that. <laughs> some people add smell bad. Old, some old people smell bad. Oh, no, it's some old people. Earlier it was all old people. Just when you get old, you smell like fucking... <laughs> no, but they, you don't hold the scents as much as, as you used to. Your skin is uh, too thin. It's like a, you know, plastic wrap. <laughs> I don't know about that either. Plastic wrap? Yeah, you know how it's all thin? Like it's, plastic wrap is really thin. You know how like, you know, like picture an old person getting like a piercing, okay? <laughs> Now, if you take a young person, or even middle age, right, we still have regular skin to us, okay? So it's, so it has to My go. My skin don't seem regular anymore, but okay. <laughs> now an old person. It's all dried out. It's just like, you could probably just pick the fucking needle through yourself. That's how. Put needle. For piercings, for a piercing. You need a gun, like um, one of those, whatever they use, some type of gun, piercing gun, right? <laughs> when it's, uh, when you're young, okay? Even at our age. So the whole person just needs a needle going, boop, and it goes through? Yeah. They don't <laughs> need the gun. I'm telling you, they're, it's, <laughs> it's very thin. If you're up there in age, leave a comment for Donna. Let her, let her know how wrong she is. No, no, I've been reading about old... Old things, Ed. Like uh, I read a lot of things too about people my age, but none of that shit ever happened to me. No, if you just read, like I don't got gray hairs. Re well, I got gray hairs, but my hair's not fully gray. No, no. Like what happens to your body, at, like when you're really old, and it tells you, like how. You and know, I never had no heart attack or nothing. Not everybody does. I still got a lot of cum in my balls. <laughs> Uh, I'm still young. I'm doing good. I mean, I'm I'm old, but I'm still working like a younger person. <laughs> like no prostate problems. Yeah, no, I don't got no prostate problems. Only when uh, Donna takes me to McDonald's. <laughs> <Such a> <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's makes you shit blood. <coughs> you know, especially the McDoubles. Eat McDoubles the next morning and think you're fucking dying on the can. I don't know about that. I just <laughs> 
Hey, you need a couple of them cocksuckers one night when you're drinking beer. Tell me it's not a fucking bloodbath the next morning. I have, and that's... <laughs> oh my god. I picture the white porcelain all covered in blood. <laughs> You are a pig. Stop talking. Looks like a fucking massacre. <laughs> Fuck. It's like my shit slaughtered each other. Oh, man. You know... All your shits are, like, fighting and... Why do you... <laughs> Never mind. Tell me things like this. Because you like those kind of stories. No, I fucking don't. I don't. I don't need to know about certain things. Anyway, I'm going to get in my road toke, and Donna's going to throw you cocksuckers some final words. Stay happy, stay safe, be kind, enjoy your Wednesday night, and have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Stay away from the McDoubles. Is it just McDoub is it just Mc McDoubles? Like it's not chicken nuggets or single cheeseburger or Big Mac? It's just McDoubles. I don't know. Oh, and <laughs> Anyway, want to get some McDoubles later? No. <laughs> no. <coughs> Cigarette holder to everybody. We are oot. We are oot. I'm off to the can to bleed. <laughs> uh. Like, uh. So you can say after shitting new uh, McDouble. I love how open you are about, like, you know, your stuff. Well, that's why I stay off the McDoubles. Oh, I'm just saying. I, I stay off the McDoubles. That's never, now, that is never. Now, now, I, now I warn others before they end up in But you in have that no situation. problem saying that you have shit fucking blood. Yeah, McDonald's makes you shit blood. You want me to pretend that it doesn't? People, people been say, to, people been saying that shit since the fifties, Donna. You don't have to pretend; <laughs> you just won't say it. Oh, oh. <laughs>